to the next Christmas cookie video that I'm making this year. I'm really excited for these ones. My sister actually sent me this recipe. It's called, what is it called? Red Velvet Peanut Butter Blossoms. They're obviously gonna be a peanut butter cookie and then if you haven't ever made Red Velvet, you probably don't really know what the flavor of Red Velvet is, but it's basically a really light chocolate. It's chocolate and vanilla mixed together. So this is gonna be like a chocolate peanut buttery delight. So let's get started. So this recipe has you mix the wet ingredients separate from the dry ingredients. So we're gonna mix the dry ingredients first. That's just the way that I always do it. I like to have them ready for when I'm ready to put them into my wet ingredients. So let's get started doing that. For our dry ingredients, we have one and a half cups of flour and we have to sift them together so that they are not like clumpy. So I'm gonna put that in a sifter right over top of a bowl and then I'm just gonna shake it around once I get everything in the sifter. The next thing we need is cocoa powder Powder, and we need three tablespoons of that, which I have right here. I'll put that in with the flour. And then we need baking soda, and we need one teaspoon, which I already measured right here. And then we also need a pinch of salt. Usually the salt is just to balance out the sugar, I think. I'm not really sure. Maybe it brings out the chocolate flavor a little more. And then we're just gonna sift those together until it's all in the bowl. So those are our dry ingredients. And now we're gonna mix our wet ingredients together to form like the base of the cookie dough. So we need Need to be butter, peanut butter, and sugar in a stand mixer for two minutes on medium speed. So for butter, we needed a half a cup of butter, which is one stick, and it needs to be softened to room temperature. And then three quarter cup of peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, preferably. This recipe doesn't specify, but I know a lot of other peanut butter cookies say not to use the natural peanut butter just because it gets too runny, because it has like all the natural oils in it and no binders and stuff. I mean, you try it, it just probably won't come out the right texture. It's all up to you. Cookies aren't healthy anyway. That's my motto. And then we need sugar. And we need one and one third cup of sugar, which I already measured out right here. So I'm just going to pour that in with that. And then we're going to use the handy dandy scraper attachment that I got again this week. Seriously, the best thing ever. Don't know why they don't just come standard with it because life changer. And we're just going to beat that until the sugar is well incorporated into the butters. Okay, I think that's been two minutes. Those all look pretty mixed in. And now we need to add the rest of the wet ingredients. And we need one egg, two tablespoons of milk, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of red food coloring. Oh geez, I cut my finger. Just kidding. Okay, I guess my finger is just gonna be red from now on. The next step is to mix all of those together to finish off the wet ingredients for the dough. So the recipe says to mix it for about 30 seconds to incorporate and then turn the mixer to medium high and blend until it's light and fluffy. Okay, I don't feel like it's gonna get much lighter and fluffier than that, so I think we're good to go. And then now we have to add in the sifted flour mixture, um, and then it says to do it very slowly, so we all know how this goes. Powder everywhere. together and then now we need to chill the dough just for like an hour just to let it firm up so you could roll it into balls it shouldn't take that long so i will see you in about two seconds and we'll get rolling some dough all right the dough is chilled and ready to roll uh, i just have another spoon and then roll it into a one inch ball and then i also have here like the red sugar sprinkles roll them in the balls and then roll them in the sugar just to coat them with glitter essentially and then put them onto your baking sheet as you go. coated in sugar and now um, the recipe says to pop them in the oven. I forgot to preheat that so let's do that right now. It says to preheat the oven to 375. Alright so it's gonna probably take five minutes and I guess I'll wait but you can just watch me bake them right now. Okay my oven's preheated. I'm gonna pop these in. It says we have to bake them for eight to ten minutes. Usually when it says eight to ten minutes I do the eight because I always over bake stuff. So. Okay they're done. I'm gonna take them out of the oven. Spread out more than I thought they would. Well they're still warm you're supposed to take Hershey's Kisses and push one into the top of each cookie. I'm gonna let these cool and then put them on a wire rack to finish cooling. And then I'm gonna roll out these ones and do them um, with the kiss, in, bake them with the kiss in it and see what happens. that I had 
had left. So I had to unwrap nine more Hershey's Kisses. And then my mom would always like push her thumb into the tops to make a little hole for the kiss to go into. So I'm gonna do that. And then you push the kiss in. Since the chocolate's going in the oven, it'll obviously melt a little bit. But I remember the kiss would hold its shape as long as you didn't touch it when it came out of the oven. You gotta be a little bit more careful, I guess. I did roll these a little bit smaller too, as you can tell. So um, I don't know how much rising they'll do in the oven. Oven. I know those ones spread out quite a bit. We'll see what happens. I'll pop these in the oven for eight minutes and I'll show you them when they're all done. These ones are done. We'll see what they look like. Whoa. So, <laughs> all right, I think I like those ones better, but I would probably make them the smaller size ball like I did with these. Go more towards an actual inch, not inch and a half that I did over there. Yeah, so these spread out quite a bit. I don't feel like it ruined them. They're still cute. Those ones look a little bit better though. The imprint where I pushed the kiss in kind of spread out so i hope you like this video and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me if you want to see more videos from me you can subscribe and follow me here and if you have any cookie recipes that you want me to try before christmas go ahead and shoot them my way and we'll see what we can do thank you again for sticking around for another video have a great rest of your day i'll see you next week bye And now we need to add the west, the, the west.